This is Cameron Chai from AzoNano.com and today I'm speaking to Nikolai Nozilov from NTMDT and he's going to speak to us about their Solvernext and demonstrate how it works. Okay, here is our Solvernext, fully automated desktop SPM system. Stands, SPM means atomic force microscopy, scanning tunneling microscopy in this system. And the idea is that system is fully automated, which means ease of use and does not require special skills from the operator to run the instrument. And I would like to show you briefly what's inside this system and how to operate it. So, first of all, I will open the motorized door, which protects the sample from uh, external noises and makes the homogeneous environment around the sample and also protects your eyes from the laser source which is used in atomic force microscopy for um, cantilever deflection detections. So inside the chamber here you can see two measuring heads, atomic force microscopy head and scanning tunneling microscopy head. And we can from the software control the exchange and show you how to do this. So we now move off the AFM head and bring the STM head in place. Just easy, like this. I'll bring the AFM head back and show other. So, okay. So, we'll close the door and we can so after you put the sample in the instrument and put the cantilever, you don't actually need to do anything else. Everything else is controlled from the software. So this is the main control software of the system. And here is the optical video microscope where you can see sample underneath the AFM cantilever with its tip. From the software we can move sample in XY Easy like this. You can also move camera in XY in order to find proper place on the sample surface and to optimize the optical image. You have also motorized zoom zoom in and zoom out and motorized focusing okay. so we can adjust the focus here like this and so these are preliminary operations which are normally done to allocate the area on the sample surface and then uh, we can start measuring the sample we align the uh, laser to cantilever which is also automatic just one button the system starts to make uh, scanning by laser beam and the line is in the center of the photodiode so aiming process is finished in just a few seconds in comparison to um, regular AFM system where you have to spend at least two, three minutes to align the cantilever and laser beam. Here it's done like this. Then we uh, approach tip to the sample. done and we can start <coughs> scanning so in the optical image you can view the sample is moving under the tip making the rust scanning and line by line the image appears so when it's done we get a 2d image 
for example, like this one. That is a powerful image analysis software, which you can use to measure linear dimension angles, get some statistics like roughness analysis or particle size analysis, and so on. So the system is built to be ease of use and fully automated. And it has quite a big number of measuring modes, starting from uh, simplest contact and tapping modes, uh, and up to very advanced modes like Kelvin probe microscopy or electrical force microscopy, magnetic force measurements, force distance curve, and so on. So all regular modes of AFMs. Um, system is closed loop. We have capacitance sensors in built in the system, which are actually best on the market and we are proud of because they have the lowest noise and the highest linearity and the very uh, high performance closed loop sensors. And system can operate with a large scanning field of 100 uh, micron square or in the high resolution mode down to 3 by 3 micron square. Where you can get down to atomic latest resolution with the instrument. So that's about it. Now what sort of materials and what sort of samples do people usually use this for? It's so these days atomic force microscopy is used almost for any kind of material science samples, uh, starting from semiconductors, polymers, uh, molecular biology, cell biology. And it's a primarily a research machine? Pardon? It's primarily a research instrument? Yes, AFMs are uh, mostly used in uh, research institutions and organizations. Uh, there are industry applications. Our company, however, is focused only on uh, research applications in very different fields. And you've been selling these all over the world? Yeah, yeah. we have a uh, headquarter uh, in Moscow, Russia, and we have branch offices in uh, USA, in California, in uh, China, in Shanghai, in Europe, in the Netherlands and in Ireland, Limerick. And we have a distribution network all around the world. We have our agents in more than 50 countries. Excellent, all right. And if anybody wants any more information, they can go to your website. Yeah, please, and teamdt.com. A lot of useful information is there. Okay, thanks very much for your time, Nikolai. Thank you.